10 days into hurricane season and so far so good. Well, we, we did have Alberta, but that really doesn't count. But one of the lessons from last season was how easily a storm can throw us all into an information black hole. For instance, when the leading edge of Hurricane Irma struck the Florida Keys, it almost immediately knocked out power, leaving residents from Key West to Key Largo without cell phones, internet service, or television. But luckily for them, there was a voice in the darkness. It is uh, 1.33 in the morning on a Sunday morning here. Bill Becker and Ron Saunders uh, coming to you live from our studios on Upper Sugarloaf Key. The only way people knew they weren't alone was the sound of Bill Becker's voice on US1 Radio. Reporting live here from our studios. Providing them a calm but candid assessment of what they should expect as the worst of the winds approached. That's the stark reality of what we're facing here right now. People who had battery power radio said they they slept with their radio they hunkered down with their radio to listen to us to to just hear somebody in the darkness this was the only means of communication for everybody we were basically back to the stone ages of communications there was nothing else except this radio station it was pretty incredible Becker shot this video from the station's window during the storm. And in the morning, when the eye of the hurricane passed right over the radio station. Well, here we are, the eye of the storm. The Becker took a quick break to go outside and see for himself. Boy, this is amazing. We have incredible destruction all around here, but we're still looking at the backside of the uh, storm coming at us. So we'll do our best, stay on the air here in US1 Radio. 40 minutes in the eye of the hurricane. And some people said they thought the storm was over and were gonna go out till they heard us tell them, this is the eye of the hurricane, don't go out in it. That warning likely saved lives. For Becker, who has been the news director since 1980, this was the worst storm he has ever encountered. He said he felt a duty to stay on the air because he knew people would be counting on him. And that was even more the case once the storm cleared. We're here in the studio. If you want to come by, tell us your story, tell us your need. We had people lining up at our outside our studio here to get on the air with us to relay messages to their loved ones, find out where people were, find out what services were available. My name is Sean. Uh, we rode out the storm in uh, Big Torx there, and uh, <clears throat> water was coming pouring through the windows. I thought the house was going to come off the stilts. Uh, we were praying, and we just thank God that it didn't. Local officials came by as well, providing updates on what was happening. And when the station's generator ran low on gas, Becker put out a distress call for help. We had people siphoning the gasoline from their boats so they could keep us on the air. Becker said he is proud of what the station accomplished. I feel like we did something really special here, being able to stay on the air, and uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna harden our system here. We're gonna do the best we can to be there next time as well. And for their incredible work during the storm, Becker and his colleagues at the station recently won the prestigious Murrow Awards. Congratulations to them all. We'll be right back after the break.